Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and we are here to finish up um, this Love of Flowers journal. We're going to make one more card for it, and then I will do a flip through because I've done some things without you guys. I had a little time and just had to get it finished. I had an insane weekend. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I had a pretty bad allergic reaction to some lavender oil. So I guess I won't be using that anymore. <laughs> so I ended up in the ER and then I don't know. It's just, it was just a weekend. So I just didn't feel great. You know what I mean? But I mean, I'm fine and it wasn't a big deal. It just was um, super itchy, and annoying. I itched and itched and itched and thought I was going to lose my marbles. But anyway, I'm all good now. Thank you to doctors. So we are making this long card for this pocket right here, this belly band. It's not a pocket, it's a belly band. Um, and we made this for, what was this for? I don't remember. I was gonna say it was the nothing but neutrals, but oh no, I just decided to make it because Nancy made those Halloween ones and I was like, ooh, I wanna make some for this. That's what the deal was. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up back here because I know the size of this card is right. I think I messed up on this. This is gonna be the backing. Um, this is a piece of junk mail, so just the, you know, you guys have seen it before, um, those little flyer type things that you get. And I just cut it down to a size that I wanted to use and sanded it because these are a lot like playing cards, not quite as thick, but they have almost that same coating and you got to kind of get rid of some of that to make it uh, stick, make your paper or whatever you put on them stick. Okay. So I hope you guys are well, and I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I want to say hugs and blessings to Deb, Nicolina, and Dawn. Thank you so much for your kind comments and for joining me. Welcome, welcome to new subscribers, and welcome back to my awesome subscribers that have followed me for however long. I really appreciate all of you very, very much. So thank you. I might actually put this one on, well, I don't know, let me see. I know I didn't do this long enough, so what I'm going to do is put some uh, book page underneath just because that way I won't have to see the blue that's sticking out there. So yeah, that'll go on there like that. I might tear this down just a tiny bit more. And then we're gonna collage on the front. This might not be super exciting, <laughs> but I wanna finish this one up. And then tomorrow we will do the nut and butt neutrals challenge. And then I think I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do for a little bit. <laughs> I, I just have some other ideas of things I wanna make that aren't like big journals. So I might work on a, just a little bit smaller project before I start another journal. Carol Laws and I are going to do a, a grungy journal collaboration. And I don't know, neither one of us know when we can start that. So <laughs> we're just kind of taking it when, it when it comes, basically. So anyhow, that is our plan at the moment. And of course, um, if you want to join in with Carol and I, you are definitely welcome. Just, um, you know, when we get started, I'll, I'll tell you the kits I'm going to use. Carol will tell you the kits she's going to use. And you can choose to use different ones, same ones, whatever. And if you make a video, I'll put a hashtag with it when we get it all figured out. And then you can hop in and post on Instagram or if you do YouTube videos or... Um, Whatever, whatever it is that you do, then that will be awesome. So I'm feeling extra jittery today. And I think it's um, the steroids they gave me. So I apologize if I'm kind of a wreck. But I mean, I'm not really a wreck. I, I don't feel, I feel way better. But I just feel a little jittery. Not that that's that abnormal for me either, but I am feeling, feeling that way. Yep. 
Yeah, that was crazy because I've used that oil before. No problem whatsoever. Um, and that was, it almost felt like prickly heat. And so it was a little confusing at first, but because I haven't, I, I mean, my husband and I went on walks this weekend and stuff, but we always go fairly early. So it wasn't like hot, hot yet where you would get prickly heat. And um, so I knew it wasn't anything like that. And then I realized it was probably that lavender oil, but yeah, I just was, I didn't sleep all night on, what night was that? Friday, I think? No, it was Saturday night. Just because the itching, I couldn't even remotely get comfortable. And then got up at about four. I took a shower thinking that would help. That did not help. <laughs> and then just went, I'm just going to go in and have them give me some, a shot or whatever. And they got me all fixed up. So yay. But that was my exciting weekend. And then yesterday I just hung out with, well, not just, I awesomely hung out with my kids and husband and we talked about um, excursions for our cruise and all that kind of stuff. We're just trying to get ideas of what everybody's interested in and then we'll finalize all that stuff later. But So that was fun hanging out with them even though I was itching and scratching because it does take those steroids a little bit to get working. Yeah, so I, I, I do hear people say that they're allergic to lavender, but like I said, I've never had any trouble with it, so it was weird. I just need stuff that I can cover this with. It doesn't have to be really be anything particular. That might actually be enough, let's see. I do like this and just put this all the way down to the bottom and then I'll trim it where it's hanging, where it's it's too uneven. So maybe I'll just do that. But I do like this. Do I still want this on there? I don't know, maybe I'll just do the, that. Yeah, that'll work. I'll use the peach for something else. The peach dot. You know, these, these projects evolve. <laughs> they really, even if I have everything cut out and ready to go, it's rare that I ever get it perfectly with every piece that I put out. I just finished another Vampire Knitting Club audiobook. Like I said, I like the audiobooks mainly because I just don't have time to sit and read. Um, I guess I could before bed, but I probably read two pages at a time because I just fall asleep from going, going, going all day. Oh my gosh, this doesn't want to move on here. Come on, you little stinker. So yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys had a good ho holiday weekend with family, friends, All right, so this is the back. That's the spot that can be written on. So that is done. I did that first this time instead of last. <laughs> and then this side, we're gonna collage strips of paper, which I'm sure you're shocked at this point because I seem to be doing that a lot, but um, you rip them and you have them. And I have other random pieces too, but. Um, so I'm like, I wanna use them. And I do like that look with this journal. I think the neutral backgrounds are great because a lot of the pieces are so bright. So the neutrals just, I really like it. So that's what I'm doing. Love that look together. Gives you that variation that I think things need to be appealing to the eye. I don't know. I don't think I want to ink all of them. I'm just going to glue them down. That 
will work. And I might kind of hang them over a little bit and trim it, even though they've got the torn edge, but I don't want to see the blue. So that's what I'm going to do. I love doing um, this kind of collage. I don't do it a ton just because I know there's other creators that do um you know they do a lot of collage like this and i just try to do different things if i can because otherwise i'm afraid you know people get done with watching if too many people are doing the same thing so and i understand that because i'm a little bit like that too oh and i wanted to say I am so sorry about the video yesterday, the 50 stack challenge. I really try <laughs> to get my ducks in a row with all of that, but it seems like every single time I do a 50 stack challenge, at least once, if not multiple times, I somehow either delete the part where I draw out the prompts or I forget to put it on or something. I do something where the prompt part where I'm picking the prompts out of the bags doesn't happen. I am going to ink this one just a little. Um, so, and that's what happened. I just deleted it on accident. So yeah, that video, but I didn't do all the watercolor. All I did is draw the prompts and then I happened to watercolor that paper ahead of time so you guys wouldn't have to watch me sit and watercolor the whole piece of paper. So where the video did start was really the beginning just without drawing prompts. So I apologize. I'm telling you, I, <laughs> I try, but man, I don't know. Sometimes my brain is a scary, scary little place. So You think after you've, you know, you're at the fifth challenge like that, you might be able to figure it out, but apparently not. So anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm sorry about that. That was just a dur moment on my part. I have a lot of dur moments, so. Sometimes there are too many things that I'm chasing around, honestly. <laughs> but and the old brain is not what it used to be as well so but I've always been a little bit on the dingier side of life so That's what happened. But uh, one thing to note, if you ever see me do that again, because I can guarantee that it probably will happen again at some point. Um, usually at the end of the video, I always say again what the prompts were. And also if you go to Instagram, um, to my Instagram, which I will put in the description box below. Um, the prompts are always there as well, so at least it's not a total loss usually. But I understand that makes for lots of confusion. Oh, you know what? I should have put this on top because it's got the feathery stuff. Oh well, it's too late for that one. It's pretty stuck right where it is. I'll just put this one right here, I think. Why do I keep wanting to rip with that thing? I want this one down here. Yeah, I think so. So, what can you do? These, um, this one isn't in my shop, that, that paper. My aunt made that paper, but this is in my shop. I have the whites and then I have one that's like this. It all comes in one pack together though, if you purchase a pack of the handmade papers. 
think I'll put it over here and I'll put something else right there because this is this is a good spot because there aren't a lot of other crazy colors underneath because you would be able to see them through this white. Gives it some interesting texture. Yeah, we had fun last night doing figuring out those. Some of them, it's like, ooh, we can't, after paying for a cruise, we can't afford that, but we'll do this and try to <laughs> have fun with it. It'll just be awesome to see the sights, basically. That's my, that's my take on it. Because that may be the one and only time I get there. And I'm going to get a little vial of, like just a little glass vial, take it with me, and then in County Cork in Ireland, I'm going to get a little bit of dirt and put it in the vial and bring it to my dad's grave because he always, always wanted to go to Ireland and he never got to. And so I'm going to take it and put it on his grave. He was the sweetest, sweetest man ever. Well, I mean, my husband's pretty great too, but you know. <laughs> If you had a good dad, I'm sure you understand that. My grandpa was awesome too. Of course this isn't gonna like work so that those pieces go all the way across, huh? But that's okay, I'll just have to put something else over there. This one down here, it'll that will work out and then I'll just put some other little pieces here and there since it doesn't fit perfectly this is a little bit lighter I like to do the edges of those but yeah that's the big thing if you're going to use these like brochures or whatever they're called that come in the mail just make sure you sand them really good and make sure they're not the super thick ones because they, I don't know, I've tried to do stuff with them and they're just too thick, I think. But once you glue other paper on, you know, it's only going to get thicker. It's not getting any thinner. So that's just something to think about. This one's kind of cool because it's just got these dots and that says loved thee. <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Random, but fun. want need something right there this is the same kind of color of paper but I guess it doesn't matter it's actually from the same page because you can see the dots again ah. fingers stuck any other spots that are like weird like that I think I might put just a little piece of this paper over something too because I like the texture of it 
Well, well, my hands don't like the texture of it, but I like the way it looks. How's that? I can hardly stand to touch it. <laughs> but I like the way it looks. <sighs> Just, just my little weird thing. We all gotta have them, it seems. We had friends that we went to Hawaii with and she was terrified of, well, I mean, she's still around, so she's still terrified of them, but birds. And I just love birds, <laughs> but I get it. Like, you can't help, I mean, some things just bug you. But I just... I love birds. I'm not scared of the paper. I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> it gives me the shivers. All right. So then I'm using one of my frogs. I know not everybody likes frogs. I like frogs and he's cute and it's a tag. So if you don't like it, when you get the journal, you can take it out. But he's cute. He's not even like icky looking or anything. And I thought that could go there. I do like that paper. I might put another little bit of that somewhere. So what I'm gonna do I think I'm going to just do this a little, not a lot. Because some people feel about frogs. Like, yeah, like I was just talking about, right? I, I understand. had a pet toad though and I love that toad he was so cool or she I don't really know but anyway they're just very interesting to watch I felt like I don't you know like I didn't love holding him or anything because they are slimy but I liked just he was just interesting very interesting and birds are the same way I just like to see what they're up to. We've been the quail have been coming into our yard. We have we didn't don't normally get quail. And I think it's because our spot where we're in, there isn't a ton of building going on. So I think they're like okay with coming here now. And um they get in the garden bed when the sun's shining in there and where the tomatoes, I only have tomatoes growing in there as far as food. Um, but they scratch around on the ground and the, kind of roll in the dirt a little bit. And I think it's kind of like a dust bath because they get mites and stuff, you know, birds. So they're just so cute with their little top knots. And I don't know, I like, I like quail, they're super cute. They always remind me of my husband's dad because, not because he looked like a quail or anything, but <laughs> he really liked quail, you know, like he had uh, paintings and stuff like that in his house with quail. And um, he didn't hunt them or anything, but he just liked them. So I always think of him when I see the quail. Another good man. He passed away as well. Yeah, when I say we go to my husband's parents, it's actually his stepdad, but. It's just easier to say it that way. <laughs> that comes from my uh, white grunge digital kit 
So I have a whole page of those kind of labely thingamajigs. I might put this on a piece of this paper because I like this paper. Just don't stick to me. <laughs> Can't stand it. Okay. Maybe the dragonfly will go this way. I like dragonflies too. We when we were over at their house on the fourth of July, the, the in-laws, um, there were big fat kind of red colored dragonflies. They're pretty cool because they have a little like pond in their backyard. Crunch it a little bit. Get this this way. Or this way. <laughs> yeah, like that. In my son's baby room, I painted frogs and cattails and dragonflies. That was in our old house though, or the house before this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna round the corners. I'm just blathering, don't mind me. I'm sure you guys are all like, great, who cares? That's the hard part about this because I like chatting with you guys because like I've said, I feel like you're my friends, you know, we're just hanging out, crafting together, but I know some people don't like it when you just ramble, but I don't know what else to do when I'm standing here. I guess I could be silent, but that seems really boring. All right. I like it. I think it's good. The only thing I need to do is stitch around it and then it will go in that belly band. So maybe one side I will put, uh, probably on this side, like a piece of fabric so that it can be pulled in and out. Wow, that barely fits. I thought, I, I mean, it does fit luckily, but barely. Okay, I'm going to go clean up this mess, wash my hands, cause they're disgusting. Cause I don't want to touch this a ton with them all gross. And then I will be back and we'll do a flip through. All right, I'm back, and I have tied some um, kind of spring green seam binding. I'm like, what's this stuff called again? Around it, but it's kind of a hard one because of where this flower is, so you can just take that off. But it's kind of nice because it is it has gotten a little fat, um, and that's kind of why I'm stopping because I don't want to put more into it. It's just it's getting a little chunky, and I'm worried that you know if you get them too fat and you tie this too tight, the that can pop. It probably won't because it's got several layers, but yeah, I just don't want to make it any thicker than it is. This one is spoken for, but I'll tell you it's, it's info. It is um, about 11 and a half, roughly 11 and a half high. And because it's an eight and a half by 11 sort of sheet of paper size by almost five wide. Um, and it's a manila file folder if you haven't seen the whole thing if this is the first of these videos that you're watching and all I did with the manila file folder was it's already folded in half as they are I folded the flap back that has the tab and that made a pocket here and then um, the other flap I folded this way I did end up cutting some off because otherwise it gets too close to the uh, binding and you can't get anything in the pocket out so I did cut a bit off but I cut it you know put a thumb notch in it and so then there's a nice big pocket there as well so in this front pocket I have put this piece of ephemera with uh, one of Joey card makers images uh, she was a bigger card kind of like this one this size but um 
I just cut her down so that she fits inside of this that I had already made. I think I made this for one of my 50 stack challenges. I don't remember which one. But anyway, it's just cool because it's got that old book page edge and I uh, just felt like it it stuck out of here and it looks kind of cool because it goes with the all the old paper that's on this. And then this one was also, this was the color challenge where it was a neutral color. I can't remember if it was white and blue. Anyways, it was that challenge. And I just added one of Joey Cardmaker's 1920s photos there and a piece of lace here and put that in there as well. Just pretty with the flower and everything. And I like the way the, the numbers stick out the side over here. So those little bits are in there. And then it's got the lace and all the fun stuff on the front. This is a cut out oval. It's not just an oval picture put on there. So it's kind of like a framed photograph and, you know, fake faux tape. So then you open it and you have just a tuck pocket here. So that's just glued on two sides. And this lady is glued across the bottom. And that's one of the images from the kit. And so the flowers back there and these as well. And they're just little journaling cards. Didn't do anything to them because I, I figured they've got enough interest going on. That just tucks in there. And then there's another pocket here with one of the tags from the kit, which is one of the butterflies. And I didn't glue those wings all the way down, so they're a little free floating. And this was a pocket I had made, I don't know when, but anyway, I just added the frog. Oh, there is a frog. I forgot about that frog. Well, now there's two frogs and you can't even get rid of that one. You could put something over it, I guess. And um, this is kit paper, avocado dye. This is from my 1920s, 1923 add-on digital download. That's old vintage uh, newspaper. And then that is what we just made and it'll get stitched around. I haven't done that yet, but I will do that and our belly band there. And like I said, I'll probably put a little piece of fabric right there. And uh, this is coffee dyed paper by Didi Farago and her channel is Didi Farago. And then this is from Collage Soup, www.collagesoup.com. And she has the um, compendium book that has old photographs and then these kind of pages with the floral. That is from my Antique Posy digital. Um, that's scrapbook paper. And this is kit paper, kit paper. And this is, we made in the Nut and Butt Neutrals where it was page edge was the prompt. This one we made with um, the index card prompt and you know, kind of like the cover, cut the oval out and have a card in there to write on. And then this is one of the strip papers from Somerset Magazine. And I liked that in there as well. All this neutral goes nice, like I said, with the brighter uh, page cut colors. That's from Antique Posy as well, another lace. This, and I list all the um, digitals that I used in the description box below the video. So you can check there as well. Kit page. This flips open like that. So you have a spot to write. That's of course decorative, but then there's another journaling card. This was just a piece from Hobby Lobby. It just fit nicely on there. And that's a belly band. So it's open on two sides, closed on two sides. That is one of the images from the kit and I cut her out, you know, they're meant to be sort of like the Tim Holtz portraits and I just glue them across the top of a tag quite frequently. I just decided to connect this one and make it a flip to a um, guest check. Kit page, avocado dye. Here's one of my pockets with um, a couple of my tags. This is the sketchbook tags and these are the uh, love of florals. I don't know which. I have two love of florals. One is the portrait, so it's the long pages, the ones I used in here. And the other is the whole kit with all the pockets and tags and all that kind of stuff. But I did add some tags to the uh, tall skinny page kit as well. And that's just a little journaling card that slides in there. Like that. And those go behind. And that's another collagesoup.com. 
and the other side of that one kit page uh coffee dye this is just hooked on here with a rusty paper clip this is a uh, joey card makers 1920s kit and that's from that's my antique posy this is in this kit the bird and that's bingo bits just a little tag and then you can also write on the other side of this. So I'll hook that back on in a minute. So then, of course, kit page and uh, coffee dye. This is one of the um, little pockets made out of a Rolodex card for the color combo, the nut and butt neutrals. Yeah, it wasn't a color combo. It was nut and butt neutrals. <laughs> It's hard to remember all the things. And that's bird is in the kit, this Love of Flor Flowers kit. And I cut it with the little notches in it. And this is in Joey Cardmaker's 1920s kit. I didn't add anything, it looks nice. And another tag that I made with the butterfly and um, kit papers. This is scrap of paper and just a piece of lace. Uh, I do this. I get these, the glue from the pocket onto the next page. Uh, kit page, collagesoup.com. I just love these. They just went really well in here and gave a little bit of a neutral balance. Um, this is that long envelope that we did together that has lots of pockets. So there's a playlist for all the stuff in this um, journal. Oh, there's a little extra piece of paper. Um, Joey Cardmaker again. That background's Joey Cardmaker. And then I just added pieces from my kit there. And then this uh, tag's in the kit. This is the lady. And then at the back, I just have a big... I think it is a whole piece or a partial, almost a whole piece of avocado dyed paper. I just thought that would be nice for writing on back there. I don't want to check it out because there's nothing on it and it's just a pain to get back in there if you don't have the other stuff. If the other stuff is in the pockets, it works great, but it gets caught up if, if you don't. So that is that pocket. Oh, and there's this as well in there. Guess check. And all the images are from the kit. That's scrapbook paper. This is the Love of Florals, or Love of Flowers. I keep wanting to say Love of Florals. I probably should have named it that, but I didn't. Um, this is Joey Cardmaker's kit. I just added, that's Tim Holtz. and It opens out so you can write all on that those pages. You can write on this page. And then back here I have a little pocket that I added a tag to or a journaling card. This is um, actually one of Joey Cardmaker's pockets. I just cut the front off and used it like a journaling card. And then also in this one is this journaling card with the flapper on it. And she goes in this front pocket. They go behind the pocket. You gotta be a little bit careful because you can get caught on the edge, but um, this is kit page. I added the butterflies that are also in the kit as a, it's a fussy cut, you can cuss it cut out or cuss out either way <laughs> and then this flaps out it's an envelope with one of the tags from the kit and maybe you can put it back in there and that's another one of the portrait pieces from the kit one of the butterflies and collage soup coffee dye and our other belly band that we made with all the squares of different papers. I added this. I just, the colors are so pretty. It just made me think it goes well with this. That one I made, I think, in the first 50 stack challenge, that pocket. So that one just is in there. It could be put somewhere in the journal too. I just put it there. And then the back side, I need to sign this, so I'll do that really quick. So this uh, is the envelope that's in the Leva Flowers kit. Um, the flower is from this kit. This is from Joy Cardmaker's kit, which is a great kit to add to this 
journal. I didn't put anything in this envelope, so you can put, like, if you had family photos or something like that, you wanted to add some kind of family memorabilia, that would be fun. So I will sign this if I can get my, reach my stamp. Where is it? Sorry, it's like all the way on the other side of the desk over there. I think I'm going to, it should fit on this. Yep. So I bought this um, on Amazon. They're pretty easy to find. You might find a different one, but I like to use these to stamp on another piece of paper. I don't stamp onto my books because that would be taking the chance of a lifetime because if you stamped it wrong. So that's a recommendation I have. When you're doing your final signing, unless you just sign it without doing this, I just like to use this stamp. Um, don't stamp directly onto your book. <laughs> stamp on another piece of paper because let me tell you, I may have just messed this up even. I didn't, but I have in the past. So it would be real sad if it messed up your book. Sign it. With my shaky hands. And voila. We'll put that in there. Try not to touch it a whole lot because it does take a minute for that ink to dry all the way. But yeah, I've, I've stamped on Kit Page and all kinds of different uh, stuff. Sometimes old book page is just nice for a warm neutral on there. But we didn't get to make everything in this together, but you guys pretty much saw how the journals go together. We've had lots of other fun projects lately, so um, yeah, I haven't, I don't know where I want to put it. I could put it there, but... I usually kind of try to find a semi-discreet place just because, you know, I just can't see it all the way. I just, I'll just put it down there. But it's kind of fun. Always sign your work, always, because that's just a really special thing, I think. I mean, you put so many we, we put so many hours into these i just think you gotta sign it it's a piece of art so yeah i think it's important all right tis signed now and i will stitch around what we made today and this will be ready to go home so i will be contacting the person who got it and if she's not interested I'll let you guys know but um yeah it's this one's all done so I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we will chat again soon love ya bye